The bitmap image mode is somewhat misnamed in Photoshop. Technically, every image is bitmapped. That is to say, each image has information, measured in bits, which is then mapped across each of the pixels. However, the bitmap mode in Photoshop specifically has a single bit of information contained in each pixel. The bitmap image mode is the most basic mode that you're going to find in Photoshop. In it, pixels can literally only be one of two colors, either black or white. For this reason, you're probably never going to use it. However, um, let me show you what bitmap mode looks like using this Mahalo page. And then I'll show you an interesting creative way that you can use this to make something interesting. So the first thing we're going to do is jump up to the image mode settings. And since we already have a lot of color information here, I'm going to jump to grayscale first. So switch, go image mode grayscale. Click on that. Dialog box will pop up asking you if you want to discard the color information. Go ahead and discard. Then go back up to image and mode. Now the bitmap mode is open to us. So I'm going to use the default settings right now. Just hit OK to show you what the bitmap mode looks like. Now here you can see that each pixel is only either black or white, like we talked about, and all of the gray areas are achieved by varying the density of black pixels next to one another. So if we zoom all the way in here, you can see that this area that's slightly grayish when we're zoomed out actually is just black and white pixels next to one another. Obviously solid black fields are created just by the solid black, and then every other varying degree, depending on how light you want to go with your gray, you just move the pixels further away from one another. So that is the bitmap image mode. Now let me show you something real quick that you can do here that makes the bitmap mode a little bit more interesting. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control Alt Z or Command Option Z on the Mac. And I'll step back a couple of times until we get our original image. And then, well then I'm gonna hit C for the crop tool and press caps lock so I can have my actual crosshair and I know exactly what pixels I'm selecting. I will select these pixels in here. I'll confirm the command with the numpad enter. Now we're left with just this image of Lady Gaga staring at us kind of creepily. So the next thing we're going to do is get rid of all the color information again. Come up here to mode and grayscale. Discard. And then I'm going to drag out a perfectly square selection field. And I'm going to do that by pressing M to bring up the marquee tool and holding down shift so that it maintains a square aspect. It's gonna be a little tougher here because of the black area at the bottom of the screen, but I think this is gonna work for our purposes right now. At this point, I'll go image, crop, and that'll give us this perfectly square image. Now I'm gonna come up here to image and adjustments and select levels. And what I'm trying to do here is just create as, as much of a high contrast image as possible. So I'll bring in the blacks and I'll bring in the whites. Play with the adjustments until you have most of the gray shifted over to pure black and pure white. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to give you the indication and we still need to know who this is. So that's, uh, that's about good there. Maybe I'll pull the blacks in a little more. Pull in the white color levels. And hit OK. The next thing we're going to do is resize the image. We go to image size in the image menu. And we're going to change it to 60. Not 6 plus 0. 60 by 60. And our resolution we're going to set to 300 DPI. So here, hit Control or Command A for select all. Zoom in a little here so we can see what we're working with. And then we're going to go to edit. Define Pattern. And we're going to name this one Lady Gaga. Hit OK. Now we have our custom pattern defined. Again, I'm going to hit Control Alt Z or Command Option Z, and I'm going to step back until we have our original black and white image of her face. And I'm actually going to enlarge this because it tends to turn out better. So go to Image Size. And we'll say the resolution, we'll set the resolution here to 300 as well. And we'll say the width, we'll just go up to, say, 1500 pixels. Hit OK. Once we have that, go to Image, Mode, Bitmap, and 
in the method here, drop down the diffusion dither to custom pattern. At this point, you'll see our Lady Gaga pattern right over here on the right that we saved. Select that and hit OK. And then instead of pixels, if you zoom in here, you can see that we've set up an infinite zoom. So there you have it. That's just something else interesting that you can do with the bitmap image mode. So if we get a little bit more creative, maybe with the animation panel, as you zoom in here, we can actually create an infinite zoom. So we can zoom all the way in, and as we get closer, simply fade the pattern back into the original image with all of the patterns, and you can zoom in over and over and over and over, and it'll always be the same image. So like I said, it's one of those modes that you're not going to use very often. However, there are some interesting things you can do with it. So as with everything, play around with it a little bit, experiment, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you may have to request at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching. That was...